So, slept last night, um, about 20 miles past, um, we got over cabin. So I would like to have done more miles yesterday, but I slept really late, and it gets cold as soon as it gets dark. So I just went to bed. I slept really well. I got up at like 7. I'm hiking back. I'm hiking now. It's like 9 o'clock, I think. 9-ish. So I'm hiking for a little bit. Back in the desert. So pretty. I heard a, a thumping noise this morning. My battery died while I was making the other video. I've walked another bunch of miles. This is, I think, Butter Bread. Butter Bread Road. It's spelled really funny. Um, man, these trees are amazing. These Joshua trees are so cool. It's beautiful around here. I hope we're not getting rain. It's getting a little gray here. So, it might be a wet night. <laughs> I hope not. I mean, I'm, I'm reasonably prepared. I'm not going to freeze to death, but... It's never fun when it rains on you, when you're hiking. So, um, right now I'm about 50 miles from the, the my out into Hatchaby. I want to try to do another 20 miles today. I think I've done like 8 or 9. Or 8. Um, so get up around 28, 29 miles for the day. Tomorrow I'll have 30 to do into, into town. So I got another, I think, six and a half to my next walk. So just some beautiful rocks up here. It's a shame there's more water here. It's so difficult carrying all your water in. But um some great views. But anyway, so back at Snowline and this is a motorcycle. Somebody's up here on a motorcycle. I don't know if people doing trail maintenance are allowed to do that. But somebody's been up here tearing it up with their their motorcycle. They haven't damaged the trail. So I'm thinking it could be somebody up doing a patrol just to see what the condition is. They were here in the snow. This is all probably been here for a while. The snow hasn't melted. It's in the perfect spot not to melt. These rocks, which I guess are just exposed lava chambers or something. They look like houses. It's so cool. Yeah, but they're not. It's very neat. So, back up with snow. I'm at about 6,700 feet right now. So, I think for most of, until I get back, until I start to down into to Hatchaby, I think I'm above 5,000 pretty much the whole way. So it's gonna be chilly. So today, I was hiking and I was gonna keep going uh, to my next water cache, but, um, which is like 10 miles away. But I stopped here because it's in these rocks. I don't know if you can really pick this up. But I'm in these rocks here. And it's just, it's really, you, yeah, you can't see anything really except for the fire. Um, but I just made a little fire here in the rocks. It's just an amazing place, it's just the rocks. And you can imagine back through history, people had passed through here and probably thought that these were like the buildings of, some of I mean, I, they're rock formations, I know that, but like I think historically, people passing through here must have made up stories about this place. It's just an amazing spot. So, probably, not, I'm probably not going to get back to head to, to Hatchapi until the day after tomorrow, I think. Because um, I laid up 10 miles which um, you know, makes it so if I do 30 miles tomorrow, I'll still have some miles into town. So I think I'm probably going to do, I'm going to try and do a big day tomorrow and then get in the day after tomorrow, which is imminently doable. It might, might not be the whole of the night, but um, 
definitely get on the day after tomorrow.